Hi, my name is Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor for MCAT Self Prep, the creators of the free MCAT prep course. In this video, I want to discuss what MCAT test day is like. This is an extremely important topic because knowing what to expect will help you feel calm and confident on test day, and that can make all the difference. Although there are slight differences depending on where your exam is administered, the general procedure remains the same. You will walk into the testing center and someone will be there with a checklist that has your name on it. You will show them your ID and they will give you a key to your locker. They will instruct you to put all of your belongings, except for your ID and the key, in that locker. They will instruct you to put all of your belongings, oh, excuse me, you will then take a seat in the waiting area until they give you further instructions. Once the time has arrived, they will call students up one at a time to start checking you in. During check-in, you will again show them your ID, and they will take some fingerprints and do a simple pocket check. They may also use a magic wand, typically 11 inches long made of holly with a phoenix feather core, and wave it around your body while chanting Wingardium Leviosa. Not really. <laughs> but they will wave some kind of wand for detecting like cheating devices or something. But you can pretend they are casting a magic spell on you that will give you superhuman test-taking abilities, if you'd like. Anyway, after you get checked in, they will lead you into the testing room. There will likely be cubicles with computers set up at each one, and headphones that you can use as earplugs. Keep in mind, though, that every testing center might be different. They will guide you to your station. You will sit down, and everything will be just as it was when you took the AAMC practice problems. I mean the AAMC practice exam. So just relax. In between each section, you will have a break. During your break, you will be able to leave the testing room, access your locker to get food, so bring some snacks, use the restroom, and do some jumping jacks, or whatever else you want to do. However, make sure to allow adequate time for leaving and re-entering the testing room. Each time you leave or enter, you will be required to sign a piece of paper and again show them your ID. When you finish your exam, you will likely have one of two emotions. You may feel absolutely nothing because the test numbed you to your sense of reality, or you may feel terrible because you think you bombed the test. In fact, some test takers leave the testing center crying because they fear that they failed the exam. The point is, is that you will likely not feel so great after you take your test. And not being able to know your score until a month later just compounds those feelings of utter doom. But don't worry. You, like many other top scores, probably did just fine. For this reason, at the end of the exam, when the screen asks you if you would like it scored or not, you should just choose to have it scored. This means your score will be reported to both you and to the medical schools that you are applying to. The other option is to opt out of having the exam scored, and it will be as if you never took the exam. In this case, neither you nor the medical schools that you apply to will receive your score report. You should only choose this option if you feel like the anxiety of test day made it impossible for you to do your best. For instance, if you left a large portion of one of the sections blank or something like that. If it's something minor, just have your exam scored. One thing to remember is that everyone is taking the same test. So don't void your test just because it felt hard. It felt hard to everyone, and everyone is going to be graded on the same curve. You will likely be just fine. So, what can you do to make this experience less stressful? Well, the most important thing to do is to do lots of practice exams in which you mimic the testing environment as closely as possible. And we will cover this in our next video. And if you are still feeling stressed about test day, be sure to schedule a tutoring session with one of our 99th percentile MCAT tutors. They will help you know what to study during the final weeks before you take the MCAT. They will also be able to give you key advice resulting in big points for you on test day. To get started, visit MCATSelfPrep.com right away. We look forward to helping you reach your MCAT goal today.